Well, hello everyone, and welcome to my very first studio vlog. Um, I am very new to YouTube, and I'm not that quite great at editing just yet, so if we see some shaky videos in here, I do apologize. I have a one-year-old Doberman, and he just kind of throws his weight around as he pleases. So, in parts of the video you might see some shakiness, but I do have better equipment now, so I should be able to provide some better videos going forward. Um, so, I thought I would do my first video as a chatty kind of paint with me. Um, I'm going to be doing a quick little Eiffel Tower painting. I have a reference picture there on the side, but I ended up doing a kind of during the day Eiffel Tower scene. And this is also my first time trying the um, RTX Artist Gouache paints. I'm not sure if I said that right, but oh well. <laughs> so I wanted to try these gouache paints um, for a while now, and I found them on Amazon. They had a 50% off coupon, so I was just like, heck yes, I will definitely get those. And so now I can finally try them out. So as we are doing this little um, Eiffel Tower piece, I thought I would kind of throw some information about myself at you uh, while you watch me do this little painting. Um, I am from Chicago. And I've been doing art for as long as I know. I mean, I'm only 28. So I got interested in it as a kid and I just continued on with it and I knew I wanted to pursue it as a career. Um, but I am pretty shy about my abilities as an artist, so I tend to struggle with um, putting myself out there, but I really want to work on that, so I've been um, putting my art out there more on Instagram, and I even started this uh, YouTube channel now. Um, I also recently made my very own website um, where I can sell um, my paintings and earrings that I make as well as uh, stickers so that's pretty cool i'm pretty proud of myself for making some progress um, i also have a really great boyfriend who encourages me to just keep pushing forward and making sure that you know i'm staying active and things like that so i will link my website in the description box below and also my instagram as well. I did have a Facebook page, but I didn't really use it too much, so I'm just sticking to platforms that I feel comfortable with and that I use the most. So Instagram's definitely one of them, and YouTube, well, I'm getting to know YouTube. I love watching YouTube videos, but as far as uploading my own YouTube videos, this will be new. Um. As far as what do I like to paint, um, I like to paint a lot of landscape settings. Um, I do big canvas pieces, small canvas pieces. I do paint in my journal from time to time, which I'm sure I will try to show you at some point when I'm making these videos. Um, I would really like to finish my sketchbook because I've got a lot of content in it, but sometimes it gets a bit hard to actually sit down and, and really like focus on what I want to do in there. Um, I would love to have art be my full-time job. It's a work in progress though. I teach part-time at a like soap and paint studio which is really fun. Um, it gets me out of my comfort zone because I am pretty shy. So getting on stage and talking to people and walking them through how to do 
a painting is a little bit intimidating, but um, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting better at it. Um, it does make for a great Friday night, um, just because I get off of my nine to five and I can kind of go and unwind after work. Although once I'm all done, I'm pretty exhausted. And then I will teach, you know, either on Saturday or Sunday, depending, but it's really great experience. The studio owner is super cool. Um, she's also very supportive of everything that I do art-wise and encourages me as well. So I'm very grateful to have people who, you know, push me to strive and do better and get myself out there. So the gouache paints that I'm using for this piece were pretty fun to work with. Um, like I said, it's my first time using gouache, so I wasn't quite sure what the right consistency was supposed to be. I thought I was just going to be using them as they were, um, but I later discovered I needed to incorporate water to get the right consistency so that it kind of spread out on the paper a bit nicer. Um, but overall, I really liked it. I have been gravitating towards them more and more because it's just so quick to pull out that little set and do a quick painting like the one I'm doing right now. Um, it's nice because I can create these small pieces in my sketchbook, um, mess around with um, you know, different ideas without feeling too stressed. Um, typically, I would just paint on a canvas, um, which I really can't do at this point anymore because I live in the city. So we rent an apartment and there's just not enough space. We have two dogs and it's a one bedroom, two of us, and I'm running out of wall space because I'm just hanging up way too many of my art pieces and I don't have any room. I have all of my art stuff in one little closet. So I can't just keep piling up these canvases. So I'm like, okay, I need to switch over to a smaller size, something that I can just put away and easily work with. So um, my sketchbook has been my best friend and these gouache paints have been really great, great ugh, to work with. Um, I really enjoyed them, and uh, for my first try, try out of it, I'm pretty impressed. Um, I would like to try other brands too, um, but for now these will do. So yeah, this little Eiffel Tower piece was fun. Um, it was super quick to do, and I was pretty happy with the results. Um, I did end up topping it off with Prismacolor pencils just to add a little more texture to the grass and even a little bit of the clouds. And I also kind of used the gold color to emphasize the um, crosses in the Eiffel Tower as well. So yeah, it was super fun. I hope you are enjoying watching me paint so far. Um, I definitely want to do more videos like this where I'm just sitting down and painting something or creating something. Um, I do have the iPad, so for future video ideas, I kind of want to do time lapse where I'm drawing in there. Um, but I'm still kind of throwing around ideas of what I want my next couple of videos to be. And I do want to incorporate some life clips as well, but mostly I want to keep it concentrated on creating things and my progress as an artist. YouTube will be a great way for me to document everything and seeing my growth as well. I would love to get to know more artists who also run small shops and a YouTube channel. I've seen some really great people on here, like Cheyenne Barton, um, Apple Cheeks, um, Paloma the Peach, so many great artists who are, you know, very talented and they run their shops and they do a YouTube channel. Um, 
and I'm just so inspired by them to make this channel. I hope that it is enjoyed by viewers and that I can make some really great friendships and connections and of course, you know, grow my audience as well. That's definitely a goal for me. So I will end my chattiness here. Um, I thank anybody who has stayed and watched up until this point. I do hope you come back for my next video. Um, and uh, I wish you all the best. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.